What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Aquarius, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is Truth Hidden for May of 2022, the sign of Aquarius. This can resonate if you have Aquarius in any aspects of your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thome, and have energy of your chart. Stop you the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Um, Truth Hidden is a little different than my other series. It's a more, um, it's basically what does someone in your life doesn't want you to know. It could be anybody, a friend, a friend of me, a lover, former lover, neighbor, co-worker, former co-worker, etc, 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 anybody, any freaking body. I did receive two channel messages as I was meditating on your um, Truth Hidden energy. And the first one I heard, the beast is about to come out. And the second one I heard, a former lover is about to betray you in a huge way. So only you know your story, not anybody else, Aquarius. You have to plug these messages in, how they resonate. One may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 12,635 um, subscribers. So thanks so much. If you think anyone else uh, would like my channel, please feel free to share my channel. Very publicly on your social media or word of mouth. It helps my channel get around in a very positive, copacetic way. I'd very much appreciate it. Okay, so the beast is about to come out and a former lover is about to betray you. This is what somebody in your life doesn't want you to know. The beast is about to come out um, in somebody, uh, whoever this person is and however they apply. I think you're about to see the, their true colors come out is what I think. Um that's exactly what I think. But you plug it in, how it resonates and applies in your own life there, Aquarius. And for one of you guys, a former lover, I heard, is about to betray you. So it's somebody you used to be sexually connected to in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, for a uh, majority of you guys, I feel it is uh, was it wasn't anything serious. Like, it could have been a prostitute. It could have been a swinger. It could have been... Um, a situationship, a third party. For some, it could have been a girlfriend, boyfriend, fiance, or spouse. But I feel for a majority of you guys, the former lover that's about to betray you is um, somebody you were not, like, committed to, um, is what I'm feeling. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. So we have octopus energy and nightingale energy for your animal spirit cards, air sign energy, water sign energy, doll, house, cornucopia, uh, angel of memory. Octopus, a very sneaky, malicious person is about to really, really, really tell your dirty laundry in a huge way. For some, it's a water sign. For some, it's an air sign. Oh, Lord. I heard for some of you guys, a very sneaky, malicious person. It sounds like somebody you are currently connected to or formerly connected to, however that resonates, uh, is about to tell your dirty laundry. Whoever you are and how this applies, Aquarius, for some it's a water sign, so the octopus energy, sneaky and malicious. Um, you know, octopuses are very, um, uh, they're very sneaky. Um, so I feel they're taking on octopus energy. Uh, for some, it's a water sign energy, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy, which octopus energy is water sign energy. And then for some, it's a um, air sign energy, which this is air sign energy, but they're taking on the sneaky water sign in, water sign S type energy. Heard they're about to tell your um, dirty laundry. Now, whoever they're about to tell your dirty laundry to, only this person knows their story, not anybody else, but obviously they don't want you to know this. For some, I feel it's a former lover. That's about to tell your dirty laundry. Now, nightingales are very loud and they are very proud. And uh, I feel this is dual energy here and they are just about to tell it. Tell your business. Some kind of dirty laundry energy. If this resonates for you, Aquarius. Dear Lord, have mercy. You plug it in how it resonates. But obviously, they don't want you to know. They're about to tell it. Either to one person or two plus people. However, that resonates and applies. OK, 
Okay. We have doll. Someone is about to give a gift of information of some to a feminine energy. It's about to create many series of chain of events. Okay, so this is what somebody in your uh, life or past or what have you doesn't want you to know. Um, they're about to give, I heard specifically the gift of information to a feminine energy. It's about to create many series of chain of events. So, um this is the gift of information here doll energy um dolls are gifts they're usually give, uh, given as gifts um and it could be the fem energy they're about to give the gift to the gift of information to um for some of you guys i feel you don't want this feminine energy to get this gift of informa information but it sounds like through many series of chain of events they're about to get it um, i heard it's going to create many series of chain of events when they get this gift of information so whatever it is it's juicy and valuable and they really need it or want it or both. Um, so I feel it's dual energy here. The feminine energy is the doll energy I'm feeling. And the doll can be represented as uh, a gift, i.e. the gift information to the feminine energy. Um, this is what somebody in your life doesn't want you to know. For some, it could be an air sign about to give this feminine energy a gift of information. For some, it could be a water sign. For some, it could be any other sign. You plug it in, how it resonates, if that resonates for you, Aquarius. But this is what somebody in your life doesn't want you to know. House. A house is about to be foreclosed upon an Aquarius's home. For some, an Aquarius has been under, they have been managing this home under fraudulent pretenses, and soon this Aquarius is about to be exposed. Oh my Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates, Aquarius. This is, oh, this is rough. So for one of you guys, um, one of your it sounds like either your primary home or a secondary home or homes is about to be foreclosed upon um this is what somebody in your life doesn't want you to know um but i don't know how in the world you would know that um if you're, i mean you're not paying the mortgage you're not paying the mortgage but unless you've got somebody else that handles your finances um but um one of you guys it sounds like a home or homes that you own that you, it sounds like you legally own is about to be foreclosed upon um, for some of you guys, I'm feeling the majority of you guys, it's probably a, a secondary home. It's probably a secondary home. It's probably not your primary living space is what I'm feeling here. Um, maybe you just haven't been checking your mail or you have, or, or your emails or handling your finances. Um, I don't know how the hell you wouldn't know your home's about to be foreclosed upon unless you don't do your finances, but only you know your story, not anybody else. But However, that resonates. And for one of you guys, I heard you've been fraudulently managing a home that's not yours under fraudulent pretenses. And through many series of chain of events, you're about to be exposed. So um, only you know your story, not anybody else. This is what somebody doesn't want you to know is you're about to be exposed. I think somebody knows you're fraudulently managing a home under fraudulent pretenses. Uh, it sounds like you're not even supposed to be managing this home. Or having anything to do with this home it doesn't even sound like it's your home or you're supposed to be managing it or what have you i think somebody's about to expose you for this is what uh because i heard you're about to be exposed so you plug in how it resonates this is either the energy of your home or secondary home or homes or what have you about to be foreclosed upon for at least one of you guys or one of you guys it's a you're fraudulently managing home or homes you're not even supposed to be managing um, or having anything to do with and you're about to be exposed you plug it in, how it resonates, if that resonates for you. For some, an air sign or a water sign could have something to do with this, possibly. You plug it in, how it resonates.
and someone is in the process of renovating their home. Some with stolen money, some with not stolen money. Okay, and so someone doesn't want you to know that someone's in the process of renovating their home. Um, some with stolen money, some with not stolen money. So a lot of home energy here, uh, a lot of a lot of stolen money energy in here, a lot of not stolen money energy. For some of these people, they're renovating their homes not with stolen money, for some with stolen money. Um, this is what somebody in your life doesn't want you to know, Aquarius, if that resonates for you. Cornucopia. Through many series of chain of events, a feminine energy's business is about to start booming in a very positive way. A lot of wealth is about to be had here. A lot. Oh, this is a good one. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, but this is what somebody doesn't want you to know. I'm presuming this fem energy or maybe somebody else. It sounds like a legal business. It doesn't sound like a fraudulent illegal business. It doesn't sound like criminal activity or activities. It sounds like a very legal business. Um, maybe you do you maybe you don't want this feminine energy to um succeed in her business or businesses. Um or what have you, but um, however that, only you know your story now, anybody else, but her through many series of chain of events, a fem energy's business is about to basically boom, but boom in a very positive legal way is what it sounds like. Uh, um, uh, it sounds like she might've been struggling with business or businesses or had trouble getting it off ground or making it take off or promoting it or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But it sounds like through many series of chain of events, she's about not to have trouble there. Um, I heard there's about to be a lot of wealth there, a lot. So in this aspect, this is the wealth of this feminine energy's business about to basically boom. I think she's about to renovate her business, change it around, um, maybe add product or products or um, change promotion techniques or something of that nature. But somebody in your life doesn't want you to know that basically her business is about to boom in a very positive way how that resonates and applies in one's life. In this aspect, the cornucopia is the wealth of this feminine energy's business about to basically boom in a very positive way. And for one Aquarius, they have been overcharging a feminine energy and through many series of chain of events, that will be put to an end. Okay, now her through, um, one of you guys has been overcharging a fem energy, whoever you are and how this applies. I didn't hear who you are. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But one of you guys has been overcharging a feminine energy. So overcharging her for service or services. Sounds like you're charging her more than what you charge other client or clients. Or that's exactly what I think. Uh, you're charging her more than what you charge other client or clients, which is illegal and criminal for anybody who doesn't know that. Very illegal and criminal. And I hope your ass gets exposed if that resonates for you. Um, but I heard through many series of chain of events, it's about to stop. So I think you've been making criminal illegal money off of overcharging her. Um, my God, you're taking advantage of somebody, whoever you are, criminal Aquarius. I mean, that's pretty shysty. Just saying, just saying. Um, but I heard through many series of chain of events, it's about to stop. So I think maybe somebody's going to be on grass. They're about to be on your ass and they're about to make it stop. How that resonates. So in this aspect, this is you um, making illegal criminal money off of overcharging somebody. Um, I think you own your own business is what I think. And um, because if you were a corporation, you couldn't do that. Um, I think you're a business owner is what I think. But I heard through many series chain events, it's about to stop. So I think somebody's about to catch on to the fact that you're doing this to her, um, if this resonates. But this is what somebody doesn't want you to know. And a masculine energy's business is about to start booming as well. You do not want this to happen. You were hoping to keep them stuck. Oh, my Lord. Oh, Aquarius. 
Okay, so for one of you guys, um, a masculine energy's business is about to start booming as well. I heard you were hoping it would not. You were hoping to keep him stuck. So for some, I feel it could be an air sign or a water sign masculine or an air sign or water sign film with these business energies, possibly. Um, they could have that in their chart or it could be in a, any other sign. But whoever this masculine energy is, whether they're a water sign or air sign or any other sign, you were hoping to keep them stuck. Only you know who this masculine energy is in your life, not anybody else. Um, you're hoping to keep them keep him stuck. You're keep it, hoping to keep him stuck for some strange reason, whatever the hell it is and how that resonates. For some, it is sexual related. For some, you wanted to keep him codependent on you. Oh, my Lord. For some, it's sexual related. For some, you wanted to keep him codependent on you. So for some, it was for sexual reasons. For some, you wanted to keep him codependent on you. So only you know your story, not anybody else. But I heard it's about to boom. It's about to boom. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So this masculine energy's business is about to boom. Cornucopia. He's about to get cornucopia, too. Um, it sounds like for at least two of you guys in the universe, you don't want it to happen. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, it sounds like the universe is about to make it happen. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Angel of Memory. Confirmation from my fat boy. Come on, buddy. Come on, baby. A particular masculine energy is about to get his memory back in a huge, huge, huge way. Huge way. You do not want this to happen. He's about to create many series, a, a chain events in the universe. It's about to be life changing for him and another feminine energy. Okay, so you plug it in. How it resonates, Lord, Lord. Memory blocking spells were put on this masculine energy in the past, but they are they are backfiring now. Backfiring on the person that put them on him. Oh, Lord. Um, okay, so this is what somebody in your life doesn't want you to know. That basically this masculine energy is about to get his memory back. Somebody put dark arts on him. Some kind of memory blocking spell in the past. It could be you that put the memory blocking spell on him or somebody else. It could have been an air sign or a water sign that put a memory blocking spell on him. Because you have the energy in here or not. Only you know you're swaying out anybody else. But whether you put the memory blo memory blocking spell on him or somebody else did, it sounds like it's about to energetically boomerang back in the universe, back on whoever put it on him, whether it was you or somebody else. Um, and I heard it, went, it has already backfired, it sounds like, in the universe. But he's getting his memory back now is what it sounds like. It's getting He's getting his memory back now and... It's about to create many series of chain events positively for him and another feminine energy. It's about to, uh, he's about to start creating a series of chain of events because he's getting his memory back and it's about to involve him and another feminine energy. And it sounds like both of them, it's about to create positive series of chain of events for them because he is getting his memory back. But he had some kind of memory blocking spell put on him, either by you or somebody else, um, that it sounds like prevented something in the past but it sounds like it was sneaky and strategic to prevent it in the past but now that that shit's wore off or is about to wear off it's about to create positive series of chain of events for him and a femme energy so angel of memory in this aspect is the memory the memory coming back for this masculine energy and the memory blocking spells of the black magic um boomerang back on the person excuse me that put them on him, whether it was you or somebody you're connected to. But this is what somebody in your life doesn't want you to know. You plug it in, how it resonates, Aquarius. Wow, this is strong as hell.
Someone that has a stolen inheritance through many series of chain of events, it will be taken away from them. Know this. And a string of house fires are about to be investigated very soon. Okay, I heard someone that has a stolen inheritance through many series of chain of events that will be taken away from them. This is what somebody in your life doesn't want you to know, Aquarius, for at least one of you guys. And for one of you guys, I heard a string of house fires are about to be investigated very soon. So this is what somebody in your life doesn't want you to know. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. However, that applies in one's life, Aquarius. All right, you guys, I hope this helped. I love you guys so much and namaste.